Well, look inside the field house here in New York City. It's time now for the CDW Rivalry of the Week. My name is Greg Amsinger. I'm joined by Trev Alberts and Brian Jones. And what do you think the game is today, guys? Mm. Auburn, Georgia. It's the mm. oldest game down in the South. Last year, 35-17. Deep, deep South, baby. I'm sorry. I left out deep, deep. Deep, deep. 35-17 was the score last year. And uh, Brandon Cox, four completions, four Ooh. interceptions. It's a game he <laughs> likes to forget. What do you think is going to happen in this one? It's all about stopping no Sean. That dude is just sweet. Got more moves than a rope to the bowl of cereal. You got to enjoy watching him. He's the only running back that got left. Hell, he's the only one you can watch. But you got to stop him. Everything begins and ends with that cat. You know, you got Mikey Henderson at wide receiver and also in the punt returns. He does a phenomenal job. But you look at Auburn, man. Man, look at that defense and what they've done the last five opponents. They've held them in single digits. and They just get up for these big games. When you're talking about top ten teams, they get up. I like Auburn. What do you do when you see the roach in the cereal? Are you run? Are you flick it out and keep eating the cereal? <laughs> I mean, you keep talking about this roach in the cereal. You ever see that roach move real quick? I've never seen a roach in the cereal. Well, you grew up in the ghetto like me. I mean, <laughs> come to my house. I live in my the, old house. I live in the deep, deep south, and we have roaches, but he's never made my cereal. He's down there by my feet. Another story. Talk about down there by your feet. How about Auburn and Tommy What a segue. And, and the job he's done as a head coach. Yes. Nine of the last 11 times he's played a top 10 team, he's won. And this guy just continues to get What is it, it with that? He gets no respect. Well, he, d- he does get some respect because right now there's opening jobs and they're talking about Tommy Tuberville. Mm. The point is this. You would mentioned their defense. I think that's the story of this game. This is a defense that has allowed one 100-yard rusher all season long. They held Darren McFadden to 43 yards. That was The amazing. difference is this. This is why I think George is going to win this game. They have a quarterback in Matthew Stafford who has won games by himself. He has. He hasn't been lighting up the world he lately. Had, but you know, Not lately, but I'll tell you what. He has, in crucial situations, completed passes and won games when the running game didn't get right. going. Brandon Cox, on the other side, has not gotten that done. They're 99th in the country. Well, no, 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 he's team. gotten better. I mean, we, we talked about his development early in the year. You said it was a little retarded, but he's gotten better. He's not so who are you taking? Are you taking? I'm taking Auburn? Auburn. I'm taking Auburn. They got Fannin you? and Lester and Tate at running back. I like Auburn Dress, defense. George is, is is clearly the better team. And I think you just said it because you live in Georgia. I think it's gonna be a close game. Twenty one twenty. Georgia <laughs> wins the football game. That's our CDW rivalry of the week. Yeah, don't hate me. It's a rivalry, not, not rivalry between us. Put a That's BJ. On you. That's Trev. My name's Greg. We'll talk to you next time on CSTV.com. <laughs>